All right, time to meet up with Zong. Although on this run we don't yet know his name, but we'll learn it momentarily. Where is he? Anybody here? There you are. Suddenly, he grabbed my hand and bowed to plant a wet kiss on it with his snout. Okay, yeah. That That's a, actually an enjoyable start to this. I feel special now. Hello, Erica. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've actually been properly introduced before. What was your name again? You can call me Zong. With an H. Where is everyone? Well, the bar is already closed and everybody's gone home, so it's just us. I see. Wait, is that Bryce sleeping under the table? Oh, you're right. Guess we're not alone then. Does this happen often? Sometimes. You should start changing him or charging him rent. That's an idea. Maybe then I wouldn't have to work two jobs. Right, what's up with that? They're both just part time, so it's no big deal. I see. Which one do you prefer? It's hard to say, really. Bartending is much more fun, but working in the store pays better and is also more stable. At least you get to wear a uniform in both. That doesn't exactly seem common around here. Yeah, they're usually very simple. I like this one, but after a while the collar can get a bit tight around the neck. The store uniform is just a chore to get on. The hat, the apron, it all feels a bit constricting. Uh, I can see that, or you look kind of cute in it, though. I mean, if he doesn't like it, I'm not going to try to encourage him to continue not liking it. If it's not if it's making him uncomfortable. So I can see that. He was interrupted by a loud snore that came from under the table. When I looked down, I saw it was Bryce returning over in his sleep. What, Bryce? You want another beer? Sorry, mate, but the bar's already closed. Isn't he wonderful? Uh, seems like a stand-up guy. Let's hope his body doesn't start getting rid of any liquids while he's passed out. Nah, I'm gonna say he's a stand-up guy. A bit rough around the edges. A stand-up guy. That's pretty accurate, I'd say. Okay, I am having some difficulty telling whenever you're smiling. I think you're smiling now? I think? You seem to know Bryce pretty well. How long have you known each other? Since childhood, really. We both grew up here. Oh, that's surprising. I figured that you were just... Acquaintances. If you think he's a bit rough now, you should have seen him in his youth. Such a troublemaker. Actually, it makes sense that you're friends, because he did invite you to that barbecue. But you can rely on him for anything. I would trust him with my life. It seems like a lot of people have confidence in him as the chief of police. They do, and rightfully so. The things he's done for me personally were way beyond his duties. The mark of a true friend. What did he do? Oh, it's a long story. It has more to do with myself than him, really. 
Come on, you can't just start like that and then not spill the beans. Well, if you say so. I was adopted when I was merely a hatchling. It's really not a big deal to me and never really came as a surprise to anyone, considering my parents aren't even the same species as me. I suppose adoption is a lot more obvious in this world than it is in our world. My family isn't originally from around here. When I was eight years old, my father got a job here, so we relocated. Moving across the continent means losing all my friends, and making new ones wasn't so easy for me. I was young and new, and just a little scared. Even back then, Bryce was a very curious fella, especially when other people were involved. He came up to me at school, introduced himself, and we've been friends ever since. Many years later, Bryce was already on the force, and my desire to find my biolo biological parents had grown so much that I made some efforts to find them. Bryce, pull Bryce pulled a few strings, and with his help, I was able to track them down. He even accompanied me on the trip. Do you want me to come inside as well? No, just stay here, alright? Sure. I mustered all my courage and went up to the door of their rundown home. What do you want? Hello. Is this the residence of Huang Fu and Zhu Zhu? I apologize for not knowing how to pronounce Chinese names. Zing, zing, ying, zing, ying. Who wants to know that? Well, about 20 years ago, you gave up your child for adoption and... Oh no. You know what? I'm not dealing with this right now. We didn't j give you away just so you could show up whenever you please. And don't even think of calling me father. I won't. He turned around and went back inside. Just as he was about to close the door again, another person appeared next to him. Don't be rude, Huang. Come in for a tea or something, alright? Alright. This reunion is not going the way I expected it to. Here, sit down. I'll go and make us some tea. Here you go. Don't you want to join us, Hoing? You invited him. Him in. He's your guest, not mine. I don't want to have anything to do with this. I think I know why Zong was put up for adoption. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Guess so. Maybe he's not ready yet. After 20 years, he might never be. Maybe. I guess 20 years isn't long enough. Look, I want to say I'm sorry, but I know nothing I can make, nothing I say can make up for what happened. We had to give you away because we were young and stupid. These days, we aren't young anymore. How do you like the tea? It's alright. Oh, I've got something for you. She got up, walked away from the table, and vanished into a different room. Wing Fu was sitting on a couch nearby in front of the TV, his eyes glued to the screen. After a few moments, Zi, I was hoping I wouldn't have to try to say that name again. 
Ziyu Ying returned and joined me again. Here, take this. What is it? Is that what he got for you when you were little? It's one of the few things we still have from back then. Thank you. Do you want some more tea? No. Okay. The lack of music and the clock ticking in the background is really selling the awkwardness of this scene. I don't want to ask you this, but do you have some cash to spare? We really need some food, and Hoang doesn't like to go hunting. I just brought enough to for the trip back home. I don't think that... Oh, you don't have anything? Then what are you still doing here? You can watch TV, but not provide for your family? What a man. Get out of my house! No, please. Yeah, maybe it's time for me to go. And don't even think of coming back! How dare you come here and disturb us like that! Is there a problem here, sir? Who the heck are you? Police. It sounds like you might have some trouble here. Perhaps of a domestic nature? Not at all. I'm sorry, Zong. He doesn't know what he's doing. I can see that. Come on, Bryce. Let's go. You're done? I think I've seen what I need to. Alright. I cried so much that day. I'm sorry to hear that. Not that it matters much anymore. It's all in the past. But Bryce... He's been there for me when I needed him then, and he's still there today. Well, except for the part where, in a way, he's responsible for the whole town now. How's he handling it? Pretty well, I'd say. Everyone trusts him and thinks he's doing a great job. Anyway, let's put on some music. Give the old jukebox a little whirl. Sure. Is it jukebox? Is it visible on screen? Don't know. I can't hide you. Nope, it's not visible on screen. He got up and walked over to the jukebox in the corner to look at the selection. Let's see. What kind of music do you like? Actually, I'm not sure if your music is in, in any way similar to ours. Oh boy, it'd be funny if there was a song there that I actually recognized. Let's just put on a few different songs and you tell me what you think, alright? Sure. Feel free to pick anything that strikes your fancy. Oh boy, okay, we have options. Piano, classical, rock, electronic, orchestral, soundtrack. It probably doesn't matter what I choose, but I'm saving just in case. Soundtrack. Hmm. Okay, I'll bite. What is soundtrack? Now, this is something a bit different. It's from the soundtrack of some video game, I think. Well then, I chose the perfect option.
Why, yes, I am going to just listen to this. My only other option is to turn it off. I wonder if this song is from anything, or if it's created specifically for this game. Definitely a good song. And I kind of figured it would close automatically once the song ended. Although it seemed like it was trying to loop for a moment there. So, what do you think about this one? I like it. Really? I didn't think you would. Why is that? Just a guess. Okay, we have other options. We probably aren't going to be able to listen to all of these. So... Going to choose wisely. Let's listen to Rock. And now that I know these songs eventually end, I'm going to let them play their full length. I feel like purposely turning them off would imply I don't like them. Without further ado, here we go. This song is kind of quiet. It also has a bit of chiptune to it. I approve. Maybe it's like 80s music. I assume none of these songs are going to have lyrics to them. So please excuse the sound of my furnace running in the background. It's cold. Sad thing is, for all the cold we've had, we haven't had any snow yet. And we're 10 days into January. Huh. 
Okay, one more. Piano Classical Electronic Orchestral. Hmm. I like big oomph orchestral music. Let's hear it. This one's a bit slow, so you'll have to wait a while for it to get going. Ah, oh, that's okay. I've still got 50 minutes left in this stream. Alright. Well, I can tell already this is going to be good. It'd be interesting if this selection of songs was, like, submitted by fans or something, like, send us your music and we may feature it in the game. This is probably not an actual orchestra for an indie game, that's probably a given, but it's kind of impressive the sort of digitized music you're able to make. Like, it might not be a real orchestra, but I think it's good enough to fool you into thinking it is. It was definitely a slower song. Good quality. But I expected like there to be a big finish to it. What's your verdict? Hmm. I mean, it was pretty decent. It's one of my favorites, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, if it's going to give me the option to listen to all of these, I'm going to listen to all of these. At this point, though, I don't really care which one. But, mm, let's see here. Any meeny, mo. Now, this one's a real classic. I think it's one of the oldest songs we know about. Another quiet song. I 
I would turn the volume up, but I don't know how much I should turn it up, and I'm afraid I'll forget to turn it back down when it's done. Incidentally, when was the last time anybody seen a jukebox? Are those still a thing? Pardon the pun, but it seems like jukeboxes have gone the way of the dinosaurs. Which is a bit of a shame, because I actually like jukeboxes. They have this really cool look to them. Quite an old-timey tune, this one. I think I've heard it before. Well, it is a real classic. Someone else might have played it somewhere you've been before. No, I mean, I've heard it before I ever set foot in this world. Really? It sounds a bit different, but it's close enough that I don't think this is a coincidence. Well, if that's the case, then I'm totally the wrong person you should be telling this. I'll have to investigate this once I return to my own world. For sure. Okay. Next. We just heard a song that sounds like piano music. Let's go with piano music. Maybe this one will be more like, um, vaudeville piano. Ah, something easy. Do you know what a piano is? You can play the piano? Not really. Not that many can, actually. There are many kinds of instruments that can only be played by certain species, you see. Makes sense. Alright, now listen to this. That was, um... A, kind of a broken conversation, I feel like. Do you know how, what a piano is? And I answer with that, can you play it? Is that my way of saying yes? Well, it's certainly not vaudeville music. There is totally also a violin in this song. Oh, that was short. 
I said, how do you like it? It's pretty good. I mean, I would say not bad, but I don't want to include, but I've heard better in my thoughts, so it's pretty good. I like it too. All right. Let's let's find out how funky electronic music is in this year of 65 million BC. This is something a bit more modern. Again, 65 million BC. Not what I expected. I was totally expecting rave music. Oh, this is a pretty nice opportunity to rest my voice. You guys ever just take the time to relax and just listen to music? Honestly, for as much as I like music, I don't really do it much. More often, I'm just watching YouTube. I definitely like this song. Might actually be my favorite of the bunch. It's also not a short song, so that's a bonus. Though I can definitely appreciate the chiptune music that was in the jukebox. I'll admit it, there's been times where I would boot up a video game, go to a specific point just to listen to the song.
and I've always been a fan when a video game had an unlockable jukebox where you could just listen to all the songs in the game. Kirby's Dream Land 2, Star Fox 64. Achievement unlocked, audio file. I had a feeling there'd be an achievement for this. You listened to a bunch of music. Just for the achievement, admit it. <laughs> no, I was genuinely interested in hearing all the music. What kind of music do you like anyway? I like a bit of everything, really. I actually collect all kinds of music and per paraphernalia, and the jukebox is curated by me. Oh, nice. Sometimes people even donate some stuff they don't need anymore. I'm pretty well known among the patrons for it. Is the stuff on display over there yours too? I'm actually trying to sell those. You're selling your collection? I'm only downsizing. That's just a player and a few old records I'm trying to sell for my holiday fund. Oh, where are you going? It's going to be a family holiday, just my son and myself. Mainly for my son, though. We're planning to travel across the whole country, making stops in various cities along the way. I've been planning it for a while now and trying to save up to make it happen. We could never really afford a vacation while his mother was still around, so... Ooh. I was just wondering about that. What happened to her? I wish I knew. We fought a lot back then, about all kinds of things. When I think back to that time now, it seems like that was all we did. Argue about petty things that people don't need to argue about. Of course, it's easy to say that after the fact, and when it's already too late. I never would have thought it was bad enough to warrant doing what she did, though. What did she do? One day, she was just gone, packed up her things and left in the dead of night. I don't know where she went or what became of her. In the end, I think she just wasn't ready to be a mother. This was almost four years ago now. But, yeah, that's why I think we need that holiday, to spend some quality time together. It's also why I took that second job in the grocery store. He's going to turn nine in a few months, and I want to surprise him with it then. He saw this movie where a family goes on vacation across the country and all kinds of crazy hijinks happen along the way. He loved it so much and asked me all the time when we were going on a vacation like that. I would ask what movie you are referencing, but that kind of music movie is a dime a dozen. I just want to give it that to him. I think he needs it. He said his birthday is in a few months. Will you be able to afford it? We're more than halfway there already. With the second job, it really shouldn't be a problem. I'd just like to have more of a buffer, because this holiday will have all the bells and whistles you can imagine. I see. How about I buy some of those records? Really? You said they're for sale, right? Yes, but... I'll just put it down as expenses in regards to my visit here, so it'll all be taken care of. You would do that? Maybe, after you played me some of that music, I just can't resist and need those records for myself. Actually, I'll need the player too, because I doubt those are going to work with our own players back home. Besides, I could really use a souvenir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me just get that for you. Here you go. 
try to give it back. What would I do? No, I'm keeping it. Gimme, gimme. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. I'm sure of that. So, I suppose you're back in the game now, huh? Game? What game? I mean, dating. What makes you think so? Oh, he's blushing. Well, what's all this? Why do you ask me out? You seemed like a nice person. I want to know what you're like. Do you kiss the hand of every nice person you meet? Guess you got me there. I suppose that makes my intentions rather obvious, even though I know it won't last. I mean, it's true. You're just a side character. Besides, I'm not sure if I'd call it a game. That's something that Bryce would do. I'd prefer to take things slower and have a lasting relationship. Uh, I actually kind of agree. I see. Why'd you ask me out if you know it's not going to last, though? Price told me about you, you know. It made me realize I've got to get out there again. So the first thing you do is ask out the strange visitor from an exotic place. Be honest, did you just ask me out because I'm human? Not only. I figured you could tell me more about how humans date and give me some advice. I'm not sure if my experience would be worth anything here. You're bound to have a different perspective of everything that goes on here. Maybe you pick up on things we haven't considered. I just want to hear your opinion. It's not just about dating, you know. Well, let's talk about dating if you're interested in that. I thought I'd be able to have a frank discussion about this with just about anyone I meet here. Alright. I think by now you've got a taste about how Bryce is with these kinds of things. He likes messing around. It seems like he's got someone new every couple of months. You should see him on some nights and how people just swarm around him. Can't blame him for that, though. He's a popular guy. Do you envy him? No, I don't want what he has. But I'm finding it hard to find just one prospective partner. You'd think I'd pick up on these things while working, but then it's typically not long-term relationships that are formed here. I see. I don't exactly have that much free time to put myself out there. I'm also not getting younger, and don't forget that I already have a child to take care of. That doesn't make things easier, you know. In a way, you're not just dating the person, you're also dating the kid, if you know what I mean. Now that just sounds wrong, but I do know what he means. Oh shush. He can make things rather difficult, that's all. Alright, maybe we'll have to work on your approach. What's the first thing you notice about a person? Their personality. Really? I meet so many people here every day. When they're customers, the thing that always stands about them most is how they treat their servers. I see. Besides, I'm not interested in relationships based on looks. I like talking to people and getting to know them that way. This also makes the whole thing harder for me, because I have to invest a lot more time to find out if we're compatible. You know... If a relationship doesn't work out for Bryce, he can just find someone else the next day. But for me, this process can take a few months. I can imagine. I don't think there's a recipe for success I can give you, though. Why not? You seem to be doing pretty well already. You're nice and polite. I don't think you need to do anything different. Is that what you think? Yeah. Sure, it may take a while to find someone, but I don't think there are any shortcuts for what you're trying to do. Just keep going, and it'll happen eventually. 
Besides, you got some time to figure out things for yourself with your vacation coming up, right? That's true. It'll be an eye-opening experience in a number of ways. Maybe the relationship front is going to be one of them. Now that's the right attitude. And on that note, maybe we should call it a night. It's pretty late. Yeah, you're right. Well, thank you for the wonderful evening. Likewise. Not to mention the advice, and for buying my stuff. You're welcome. Be safe, take care, and maybe I'll see you some other time. Maybe. It's a shame that this is not a Bryce run. I'm betting we're going to be seeing a little bit of this here on the upcoming third date-ish with Anna. Which I am told I am really going to want to save ahead of time. Morning Sun declared arrival new day, vivid dreams, memories of home within the wall. It's time for another murder. And it's not Anna this time. Hey, Chief. Erica is here. Thanks, Sebastian. You can deal with the situation here while I talk to Erica, alright? Of course. Erica? I've got some really bad news. Well, what is it? You know Anna, right? I've met her, yes. How about her assistant? I met him once or twice. Well, that's him. That's kind of a bummer. I feel like regardless, the best ending is going to involve him dying. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's just get this over with. Bryce nodded. And here's more bad news. The blood we found on the first victim in town matches the DNA evidence found on the second victim at the power facility. Murder weapon and method same. Razor now qualifies as a serial killer. My authorities are about to find out. And I might get sent back home. Except I won't because somebody messed with the portal. Uh, this time we don't need to go through all that sequence again, so let's just skip ahead. Achievement unlocked. Utterly pointless achievement. You did a thing. Achievement unlocked. Don't look at me, I'm just a messenger. What? Oh, right, right. More investigations. Well, oh, first things first, visit the production facility. Hi, Lorem! Oh, I forgot we got to meet you here. Nice seeing you again. Hey, Erica. Lorem, right? Yep. Oh, right. On this run, we haven't hung out yet, so I don't know him as well. That's kind of a bummer. Did you think about... Get a chance to think about what I told you last time? Don't worry, I didn't lose your number. They keep me pretty busy, so I don't really have much free time. Well, if anything changes, give me a call. Uh, 
I'll definitely have to hang out with him again. I will. I mean, we won't necessarily rewatch the date, but I'll at least hang out with him. I gotta go now, so take care. You too. This should be the right place. Hey, Erica. I didn't even call you about the tests yet. To what do I owe the honor? I have a few questions about the murder of your colleague. Is that so? Why do you get to go around asking questions like that? Is it a matter of human interest? Actually, yes, you could say so. Interesting. What's in it for me? Hey, I already agreed to your tests. I'm not sure what else I could offer you. Besides, I'm working with the police, so your cooperation would be greatly appreciated. Oh, I just realized something. I could have found the bloodied up bandage and taken it to her. I think I could have. Or does that come later? No, it comes later. There's a bloody bandage I found in the park, but I don't think that is brought to Anna. I think the one at the bomb site is the one we bring to Anna. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, you're working for our police? Now you really have my attention. I want to see where you're going with this, so by all means, go ahead. So this is a scene that we didn't get to do on my first run. I kind of went to other places instead. I think. Yeah. No? No, I'm 99% certain that I did not see this scene the first run. Okay. What happened the last time you saw him alive? I do feel like I s had these questions, but I think I asked these questions to Damien. I saw him yesterday evening. There were some tests I needed to run overnight, so instead of staying late to set them up, I had Damien do it. That's what colleagues are for, right? Can you tell me what happened when you found him? I might have left early yesterday, but I made up for it by coming in early today before anyone else. That's why I was the one to find him. I was on my way to my office when I saw him lying in the middle of the hallway in a puddle of his own blood. What was your relationship to him? We were colleagues, nothing more. I heard that you didn't particularly like him. In fact, I heard it from you. Yeah, but that's not unusual. I don't like most people. He really didn't like me, though. Why is that? He was jealous of my success, and it showed. Yeah, he kind of was. Um, hoping that it's not a bad choice to choose this. Let's see, status, you're still impressed. You seem very calm for someone whose colleague was just murdered. People die every day. It's a simple fact of life. Besides, I don't see you crying about him either. I didn't know him that well, so it's not like someone I actually cared about died. Oof. That is, that is a sentence to say. The world stops spinning for no one. Life goes on. And for me, that means being without an assistant for a while. That's all. That will be all. Thank you, Anna. My pleasure. Time to head back. Achievement unlocked in Interrogator 2. You interrogated Anna. Analytical. How many of these achievements have come with puns? Oh, 
Oh, right. Shooting outside. Call the police. Still impressed. Good. That question didn't affect anything. Alright, don't need to go to the police archives anymore. Let's visit the store. Maybe I can say hi to... Zong again. Oh, it's her again. If you mix up the prescriptions again, then I can't help you. I can't refill this one. We're just about to close, so you'll have to bring the right one tomorrow. Hello, Erica. How can I help you? Actually, I'm just about to close up here, so please make it quick. I'm here on behalf of the police, and I was hoping that you could answer a few questions. I noticed that I was not given the option to follow Vera this time. I guess because I have not done the requirements in order to be able to follow Vera? Either that or because Vera is already going to be safe and sound, and I don't need to intervene anymore. Oh, I just remembered something. We got a pinup to look at. And also, Zong's on the title screen now. That leaves room for one more character over here, and that'll be Anna. Alright, where are you, Zong? Ah, I love this one. Yes, I will happily accept your present there. You know, it's kind of a shame. Zong seems like a really interesting character. I definitely wouldn't have minded him being one of the main characters you can repeatedly see. Uh, no, don't quit, quit. Just exit. Anyway, police stuff. I see. Well, I don't mind as long as you make it quick. I have to leave for my other job soon. Vera, what are you still doing here? I already told you you have to come back tomorrow. Here, have a lolly on the house. Okay, this is where I get the question to... Option, rather. Maybe this is where I would get the option to follow her. What's the deal with her? Not sure what's up with her lately. Isn't the first time this happened. One time doctor forgets to issue prescription. Expired one. Not exactly the brightest. Unusual even for her. So what did you want to know? Yep, this is where we get to follow Vera. But I don't really need to anymore. I'm pretty certain... So let's stay. Ongoing police investigation. I feel like, though, that the rest of this conversation is going to be kind of the same as it usually is. Human-like figure. Unmistakably so. Draws a sketch for me. I mean, other characters no longer die once I get their good endings. I will assume that is the same case for the side characters. Okay, bring the stuff to the station. There you are, Erica. Liking Bryce's chair. Good job calling the police when you heard Razor. When this report from Anna is good, nothing new to us, but it's nice to have her statement in writing. Statement from the store clerk is interesting. Few reports have raised since he went into hiding. This is helpful. Another confirmation of his involvement in this whole matter. Did great today, Erica. I do what I can. That'll be all for today. See you next time. Alright, and since we are still in an impressed status with 
Anna. We're getting a message from her. For now, though, we are done for today. If you've enjoyed today's stream, feel free to give me a follow. I stream this every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Next time, we get more dates with Anna. I'm also going to throw in a quick visit with Lorem, because it's been too long since I've seen him. And by golly, I want to see him again. <laughs>